What's up guys, Jason McMurray here, coming at you with another install video. Today we're doing the Omega Rail Brace for the Alpha 1. It's gonna be sweet. It's going on my 2019 Articat Alpha 1. You can see here I got it all blacked out this year. And of course, I went with the all black Omega Rail Brace from Pinned. This is a nice, nice brace, all machined, aluminum. And I'm going to show you some unique things about it. So one of the unique things about the Omega Rail Brace from Pinned is we get to get rid of this silly little block that is just riveted and epoxied or glued on there. Um, I've actually had one of these fail. This block came completely loose and was ready to just fall off on both sides. Um, now that was before they came out with this through bolt. Um, the through bolt, I believe started in maybe 2020. Um, so like I said, I had one of those fails. So they gave me a new rail. Um, then I bent that one. So here we are with I had to buy the 2020 rail, um, but it's got the updated through bolt. Now, if yours doesn't have that through bolt, um, it's not a big deal. You just need to get the proper size bolt and drill this out, and um, then you can run a through bolt. So first step uh, to getting these installed is we're going to get the back end of the sled up in the air. I'm going to pull this rear scissor off and we're gonna uh, drill out these two rivets and then pop off this bracket and make room for our, our rail brace. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do this in real time here. Drill out top, bottom rivet, and then we'll knock this bracket off. Okay, there goes the rivets. Now, I had to kind of just work around the bracket on the other side. Get all this epoxy. Kind of started to chip off. She's off. We'll clean the surface up and get our rail brace put on. All right, so you have your brackets off, um, your scissor folded up out of the way. You're gonna grab your braces and they really only go um, one way, one side. So you'll see this cut out here. That's for this to fit this saddle portion here. So, uh, pretty straightforward. Pop it in place, use your through bolt to uh, line it up. And there we go. Once that's in place, we're going to 
line up the two holes that were there existing from our original bracket. And that's where we're gonna put our rivets on each side here. Of course, I won't go in for me at the moment. <clears throat> anyway, you get the idea. Line those up. Now, we're gonna wanna get it as straight as we can with these rivets. And then we're gonna fasten these two rivets. And then that'll kind of put our brace in place. Then we'll drill out all the rest of our holes and continue riveting. All right, so we got our brace in place. We used our through bolt to line everything up. We got our two rivets set in place. And you'll feel this uh, brace come up against the saddle bracket and you'll know where it's gonna sit. It looks nice and straight then. Your rivets will all line up. So I've got both sides with the rivets and the through bolt. Um, so then I just clamped it in place and I'm gonna go ahead and pound these two rivets in, uh, four rivets, and then that's gonna hold pretty much everything and I can go ahead and drill out all my holes for the rest of the rivets. Um, I will have to take this bar off. I think maybe just on one end, we'll see, uh, to access these few last holes to drill out. So let's go ahead and bang those in place. An air of a gun is super handy for this. One. Three. Four. All right, let's get to drilling. All right, so I'm just getting, got all my holes drilled. I'm just getting all my rivets set in place. And it's really up to you how you do this. You can drill a hole, put a rivet, drill another hole, put a rivet. I just find a little quicker. If you have everything clamped in place, it shouldn't move on you. So you should be safe to drill all your holes and all your rivets fit in nice. All right. Let's get uh, banging these in. All right, there we go. There's the Omega rail brace from Pin Performance. All installed and looking sexy. Through bolt design gets rid of that riveted on bracket that is notorious for coming loose. Now, a couple things to mention. Um, depending on what rail brace or what rail you have, what year, uh, depends on the height of this rubber. They all seem to be kind of different. So, pin sends you a thick one so that when you bottom out, it doesn't touch your uh, beefy brace there. Uh, a couple things to mention too is to get to this upper, these upper few rivets, I had to take this bar right out. Um, I was able to leave the shock in and just kind of give it a little twist there and I was able to get those holes. But yeah, it's all installed and uh, this will be the last rail that I ever have to buy. Just definitely no break in this thing. Very nice product.